The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own. But the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. If you're wondering what book of the Bible to read next, may I humbly recommend the Acts of the Apostles. We've been hearing it now for the past few weeks, ever since Easter. But if you haven't read the Acts of the Apostles, or if it's been a couple years since you've read it, read it again. Pick it up. It is, it is one of those books of the Bible which reads more like a modern book. In a sense, it's, the action is almost play-by-play. It's always, it's hard hitting and it's fast moving and, and it's easy to understand and it flows well. Because what the Acts of the Apostles describe, it is when Christ launches the disciples out into the world and you're starting to see them as the gospel is penetrating the world. It's utterly staggering. As we hear now, as we read, we hear the names of our ancestors. And I use that word purposely, ancestors, because this is, they're part of our family, just as our parents and our grandparents were, are. Barnabas, Saul, Simeon, Lucius of Cyrene, Menean, all of these great names. And as you're hearing them, the Lord naming them, and he's sending them out. And when you, one thread that's, that's all throughout the Acts of the Apostles is how the Holy Spirit is orchestrating the church. Like a, like a, one of, like a famous award-winning conductor orchestrating the church. You now go here. You go now. Uh, higher, higher pitch. And, he, and, and you're just seeing the Holy Spirit is orchestrating the church. And everyone is moving all different pieces. And here's the amazing thing. When you read the Acts of the Apostles, know this fact. The book continues to our very day. The Acts of the Apostles indeed has not ended. We are now the new Barnabas, Saul's, we are, new, we are the new Simeons, the Lucius of Cyrenes, the Manians. We're those apostles now. It hasn't stopped. The Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit which guided the church for the last 2,000 years, now orchestrates us. Don't lose that insight. We are the continuation of the Acts of the Apostles. Now here is our job. Notice here in the first reading. What were these ancestors of ours doing before the Holy Spirit told them what to do? They were praying and fasting. Did you notice that? They were praying and fasting, attuning their ears to the Good Shepherd, and then once they were, the Holy Spirit was ready for them. You, now, go. Same dynamic with us. Why you're here at daily mass. We're praying, we're praying, we're praying, and then all of a sudden the Holy Spirit will direct us. No, I want you to do this. Go, you do that. 
you go now there. Talk to that person about the gospel. Sacrifice your life. Go proclaim the gospel. Live it out. Oh, the Holy Spirit has not stopped conducting the church. Read the Acts of the Apostles. For the book continues now.